I'll talk about um, just another event in general. Yeah. So talk about some of the um, in-store events that you have. I know they're pretty exciting and, and great for yeah. women. Yeah, the events in themselves, they vary. So like I've had um, events with um, Tyra and BB from Drag Race. Yeah. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> Everybody loved that event as well. Um, we've also had events where we had um, we had an event called Barbie Couture where we wow. got our teens together and we show them how to beautify themselves without overdoing it. And perfect, it perfect. So fun. Yeah, so it's great to be so you're kinda of like a mentor in style for for the young women coming up who are growing up in this area with so many artists and they're taking inspiration from, from everyone. So um I wanna know um what's what are your favorite products in the store right now that you have? Um and tell us about it. Well, right now I I always I'm, I'm always psyched about all my products, you know, but right now, you know, the foundation, of course, I can't live without, and the foundation sticks are amazing. When I tell you, I'm wearing the foundation stick right now. And your skin looks great. I'm living for it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> the paint wheels are a really big hit. Because Ooh. You get so much vibrant color out of these paint wheels, and... Like the, the pink Oh, wow. Is it's like very, very, insane. very deep. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And you can have so much fun with these paint wheels by using the colors together or separate and just get so many beautiful individualized looks. Yeah. Those, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, so you're involved in all of the formulas and actually creating the makeup. You don't just own the store. You own the makeup line. Yeah. The makeup line in itself was created by myself. Um, I, 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 I've just been in the field a long time, so I just know what women are looking for. So I put all that into my line of cosmetics. So women like you on a day-to-day -day base who come in and say, how, you know what, this is what I need. I'm looking for this. This is what I put into my line of cosmetics because women like you are the women who are my, who, who's my customer. Mm -hmm. And I need to make sure I hear her. So with that said, when she speaks, I listen and then deliver. Perfect. So what advice would you give for um, any other female business owners who want to start something um, in the line of beauty or fashion? I, I always say study your craft. Um, know the ins and outs of your business. Also, be passionate about what you do because you're going to spend a lot of time doing your business, you know. And with that said, you should be happy doing it. Okay? <laughs> and I know that you have a phone call. <laughs> yes. It's okay. It, it more than likely went to voicemail. I promise you that I'm going to pick that up. You know? <laughs> I'm sure you're watching the person who called. You know? <laughs> Hopefully they are. This is Halise Talks. Um, thank you so much for speaking with me. It was a long time overdue. You are such an inspiration um, from the way you look to your beautiful spirit and personality to oh, the wonderful so quality products that you make. Back at you, Halise. All right. Thank you so much, Hawa. <laughs>